So in this video, this is a tutorial for the Bell Solo Jolly Old St. Nicholas. The first thing we're going to notice uh, in Jolly Old St. Nicholas, it starts off with four G quarter notes. So let's go ahead and start this, but before we do, make sure you have your bell set with you and your music in front of you as well. So it starts off with four G quarter notes, just like this. And when I play them, I'm making sure that I'm rotating my hands, right, left, right, left. Throughout this whole song, or whenever you play bells, you never want to stick to just one, your right hand or just your left hand. You always want to be switching your hands. So let's try that again and focus on going right, left, right, left. All right, four Gs. One, two, ready, go. All right, let's move on. Let's play measure one and measure two now. In measure two, we have three Fs, two quarter note Fs and a half note F, okay? So the rhythm's gonna be G, 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 F, F, F. And when you play that, make sure your half note is gonna get two beats. Now, you might wanna play four Fs here because the first measure we have four Gs and you think the pattern might continue to four Fs, but it's not, only play three. So here's the first two measures. One, two, ready, go. And whenever I'm playing bells, I'm looking at taking a second to look at my hands, and then I'm looking at the music. Looking at my hands, looking at the music. While we're playing, we want to make sure we're tracking the notes as they go by with our eyes so we don't get lost. Let's try that again. Measure one and two. <clears throat> one, two, ready, go. All right, let's continue on. We're going to try measures one, two, three, and now four. If we look at the contour, we're moving down by step. G, F, E. All right, that's a pretty easy pattern to play on the bells because we're just moving down, 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 and then we're skipping up to a G whole note. All right, so just when you're playing, look at the contour. We're going down, and then we're jumping up to that whole note, which we're going to give four beats. So here's the first four measures. One, two, three, four. Let's try that again. The first four measures. Ready? One, two, three, four. All right, let's continue going on. Uh, we'll just try measure five and measure six now. So measure five, uh, we're going to start on C's. C, 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 B, B, E. Now, this E right here is just like the F right here. It's a half note. Don't add four notes to this measure. There's only three, because two are quarter notes, one's a half note. Let's try that. Measure five, measure six. One, two, ready, go. Oh, that was a wrong note, so I'm gonna try that again, just a little bit slower. All right, one, two, ready, go. All right, one more time to make sure I have it. And if you're having trouble with any of these measures, that's okay. Just pause the video, go back, and watch the section you're having trouble with. All right, slow it down, get it so it's sounding clear and concise. I'd much rather you play it slow with the correct notes than playing it fast and having it sound jumbled. So here we go, here's measure five and six again. One, two, ready, go. All right, one more time. Measure five and six. One, two, ready, go. And as I'm playing, I'm tracking the notes with my eyes. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's see if we can play from the beginning all the way made to measure six, all the stuff we worked on. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Whoop, 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 whoop. Wrong note. So I'm going to slow it down and try it again. One, two, three. Ready, go. Two, three, four. Okay, 
Now the last part, measure seven and measure eight. Now, measure seven, I'm gonna think of as a little staircase, because we're starting D, and each note looks like a staircase going up. All right, so when we play it, we're gonna think that we're moving up a staircase. D, E, F, G, and then we're coming down to that F stair. That's how we're gonna think about that. All right, so we're gonna rotate our hands coming up. D, E, D, E, F, G, F. And we're going to land on that F whole note. So here's measure seven and measure eight. One, two, ready, go. Okay, try that again, seven and eight. And really, this is pretty much the trickiest measure of the whole thing. It has the most movement within one measure. If you think of it as, again, as that staircase going up, it's not going to be that bad. Let's try it. Measure seven and measure eight. One, two, ready, go. All right, one more time, measure seven and measure eight. One, two, ready, go. Okay, now, um, let's see if we can get from the beginning all the way to measure eight. A couple things that, uh, a couple reminders before we play. Number one, make sure you're playing with a steady beat. All right, it's very important that we're playing it with a steady beat. So that means we don't want to play one section fast and one section slow. We want to play everything to a steady beat. The second thing I want to point out is that measure right there. There's only three Fs. Okay? Let's go ahead and let's rip it. Measure one through measure seven. One, two, three, four. I'm tracking the notes in the music with my eyes. Two, down two Cs. Okay, here's the staircase. All right, now, there's a pattern forming in this song because we're gonna look at the second half, measure nine through measure 16. And the pattern is, it pretty much repeats. Measure nine and measure 10, it's the same thing as measure one and measure two. 11 and 12, just like three and four. All right, uh, 13 and 14, like five and six. 15 and 16, is very similar to measure seven, eight, but there's one little difference. In measures 15 and 16, we're ending on an E half note, all right? In measure seven, our staircase came back down to the F. D, E, F, G, F. In measure 16, it's coming down to an E. So we still have that staircase. D, E, F, G, E, but we're coming down to that E. Let's try it. Measure 15 and measure 16. One, two, ready, go. And we're coming down to the E. Let's try that again, 15 and 16. One, two, three, four. Okay, now I missed the note right there, so I'm gonna slow it down, and I wanna play it again, very slow, and when I feel comfortable, I'm gonna speed it up. So here's 15 and 16. One, two, Three, four, one. Let's try that again. 15, 16. One, two, ready, go. Oh, I messed that up. I'll try that again. 15, 16. That time I ended on the F, not the E. All right, one more time. 15, 16. One, two, Ready, go, slow, and in control. I'm ending on the E. One more time, hopefully I'll get it this time. One, two, ready, go. And we're gonna end on the E. Okay, now, I think I feel like I'm ready where I can play the whole tune down, measure one through measure 16. What I'm looking for is I'm looking for us to play to a steady beat I'm looking and I'm listening for us to rotate hands, all right, and also to track the notes left to right while I'm reading. So here we go, all of Jolly Old St. Nick. If you're having trouble with one me uh, measure or a couple parts in particular, that's okay. Pause it, slow it down, all right, and don't play the whole thing until you have it all sounding clear. So here we go, measure one through measure 16, Jolly Old St. Nick. One, two, three, Four.
I'm going to get a false start on that one. All right, here we go. One, two, one through 16. Hopefully, I'll get it. One, and if not, I'll slow it down until I can get it. Measure one through measure 16. One, two, ready, go. Steady beat. One, two, three, four. And I'm tracking the notes with my eyes. All right, staircase time. It ends on the F. One, two, measure nine. Two, ready, go. 13, we're on. 14, okay, here we go, the staircase again, except we're gonna end on an E. All right, so use this video to help your practice sessions. Make sure you're always playing to a steady beat. If you can't play it fast yet, that's okay. Slow it down and play it accurately.